lot of smoke, man. A lot of smoke, panic. A lot of people were screaming. Like, they were screaming because they, they, were, they were saying that they were hearing the little girl scream. Neighbors in shock after a young girl died in a fire. Now officials say her death could have been prevented. Good evening, I'm Chris Jacobs. And I'm Nicole Hickel. CBS4 City Hernandez has been at the scene of yesterday's fire all day and joins us live after speaking to investigator Sydney. Well, at least 10 different agencies have been out here assisting, gathering more information on this deadly fire. Check this out. This is all that is left of the home. It has completely been destroyed, even some vehicles in there. But now fire investigators saying they had multiple obstacles that eventually claimed the life of an 11 year old girl. There's only one exit and, and that's not what we want for people. You always have to have at least two ways out of the house. John Franz, the lead investigator with the Hidalgo County Fire Marshal's office, says many factors like burglar bars made fighting the fire more difficult. But if you do have burglar bars, you need to have some system in place to where you can get out easily uh, in the case of an emergency like this. It wasn't just the burglar bars. Neighbors try to help by breaking the windows, but investigators say that might have caused more harm than good. Don't go break windows on a house that's burning. You know, don't don't open a door and, and just run in. If, if you know that there's someone in there, nothing I say is going to stop stop somebody from saving them. But in, in this particular case, those kinds of actions had a direct impact on how quickly the fire spread throughout the house. Firefighters say regardless of the factors against them, they're focused on getting answers for the family. So they've called in the South Texas Arson Response Team, the most experienced team of its kind in the Rio Grande Valley. This is a very specialized group of investigators from all around uh, the Rio Grande Valley. We have uh, an investigator from Roma and then we have guys from, from Cameron County. You know, we, we all come together. The team was on scene trying to stop the flames from going into neighboring homes. And, and they did what they could and they, they put that out and they saved, they saved those people's homes, you know, so they, they did everything in their power. While the home is technically in mission, Alton was the first department on scene because they are the closest in the county. We're in the county right now. Uh, the county does not have its own fire department. It has, it has us as an investigative agency, but it doesn't have its own fire department. So I think it's pretty phenomenal that from the time that someone called 911 to the time that the first truck was arriving on scene within nine minutes, they, they were moving really quick. The fire marshal's office is still investigating the cause of the fire. We will continue to keep you updated on that developing information. And despite some claims from witnesses, the fire marshal's office says every fire truck that arrived on scene was well equipped with water. Reporting live in Mission with Complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS 4 Valley at 6.